Thanks for hanging with us today, Vicki. No problem. Thanks for having me. Of course. So um, I got to get started, obviously, with your first ever alcoholic beverage, because that's really where all of this starts with the booze. So take all me good stories that. start with alcohol. Yes. No good story ever starts with. So I was eating a salad this one time. No, no, that's not because <laughs> right. then because you know what, Vicki? Salads get things like E. coli and Listeria. And you know what doesn't get that? Alcohol. alcohol. Drink it for your health. That's right. That's right. <laughs> sanitizes you from the inside out. <laughs> exactly. So tell me about the first time you ever experienced that sweet nectar from the gods or the demons, depending on who you ask. Um, I might have been like 13 in my basement drinking old style and Jim Beam from my dad. <laughs> it literally could not get more Illinois than all of those <laughs> words that you just said. <laughs> I love that. It, so was your dad, like, did he know? And he was like, listen, we're going to train you up good, kid. Or were no, you? No, I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. Not not at 13. I don't think. Yeah, no, probably not. So you're like, haha, I'm getting away with drinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was. Yes, of course. Yeah. I thought I was slick, but. It's always fun in retrospect. Like, oh, yeah, good job, 13 year old kid. You drink old style. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So take me from that to your journey to game on. So I've always, I started bartending when I was 21 and one day old and um, got behind the bar and I've always been a bartender and um, had the, the blessing to work at several different bars and take a little bit from each bar and um, ended up in Piatone working at, it was previously throwbacks and I was a bartender there for six years. And I fell in love with the people and I fell in love with the bar mm. and the opportunity presented itself. And I said, I'm going to buy the bar. So, wow. and I still love bartending. So you'll still, you know, find me behind the bar, you know, easily two days a week. Um, I love being back there. I love people. Um, and I love nothing more than walking into the bar and hearing people laughing. Yes. Like just to walk in and hear all, all these like excitement and positive conversations and laughing and joking and just people having a good time. It really, that's what makes me smile. Yes. It's always all about the people. Do you have any stories that stick out as either your heart warmed and you're like, ah, oh, this is why I do it. Or maybe you're like, oh my God, that person just did that thing. And we just all experienced that together. Now I feel trauma well, bonded. I do say things like I should start writing some of the stuff down. So probably that stuff I won't share because sometimes I'm like, I do have to ask myself, why do I do this? Cause we do have bad stories, but I like the good stories better. Um, <laughs> you can give me a bad story. Listen, we start your audio book right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday I just said to a customer, I need to start writing this stuff down because a guy, I came up with um, $6 and he said, I need, um, I think it's called Cherry McGillicuddy. Is that something? I said, yeah, Cherry McGillicuddy is a shot. He said, and a Corona, but I only have $7 and I'm just trying to take this girl home. So can you work with me? And I'm like, you have $7 and you want to take up. Uh, Sure. I'm like, here, just, just take it. I, you, it doesn't cover it, but I got to help a guy out. So first of all, give it your best shot. wingman of the century, <laughs> Vicky up in here, game on indeed. Oh my God. But second of all, bro, no filter, no, no filter. Yeah. Like there is supposed to be something that happens between here and here and nothing <laughs> happened <didn't>. there. <laughs> no, it didn't. And the guy sitting next to him at the bar was just turned and looked at him and the guy walked away and I was giggling and he just looked at me and he goes, seven dollars and he goes you're a saint vicky and i'm like i really need to start writing this stuff down <laughs> i don't i don't i love first of all i don't know if that qualifies you as saint like i don't know if that's the word but i do know that if there is a devil and an angel on my shoulder somehow you could be both of those people <laughs> maybe at the same time <laughs> and that is the complexity that i enjoy in a bar owner <laughs> <laughs> you gotta what... have fun you gotta have fun <laughs> Absolutely. so obviously if we go to game on there is a solid chance that you might wingman for us love <laughs> there that. is that yes <laughs> there is that for sure love it tell me what else you guys got going on because it's a lot there's a reason you're called game on 
Um, yeah, well, I mean, we have, we're a typical sports bar, um, but we have, you know, the tablets, pool tables, dartboards, all that stuff. Um, but I think the biggest thing that we pride ourselves on is our community. Mm -hmm. So we're in Piatone, um, small community, yeah. and um, we live and die by community, basically, yes. I do. Um, I could not survive, especially through this nightmare of COVID without the community. So um, we're really big into giving back to the community. We do, um, you know, fundraisers. I have random acts of kindness box. And if people come in and use the gaming machines and they have tickets left over for 40, 50 cents, we put them all in a bucket and then I cash them all in. We match it and then we donate. We'll pick a box, a name out of the random acts of kindness game on box and we'll donate it to that charity. So um, we're constantly looking for ways to give back to the community and they know that. And in return, they come in and support us. And it's really just an amazing cycle that we have going on. But I would say that is um, our biggest thing is, is community for us, for sure. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit how you guys got through, I would say got through the pandemic, but it doesn't seem like it's ever going to end. So I guess just take me from 2020 to now. And what are some of the, I guess, tactics that you guys had to take Because everyone kind of had to switch it up. It changed Definitely everything. Switched it up. So we tapped into our takeout, which was never um, a big thing, you know, game on bar and grill, but everybody focuses on the bar, right? Well, I didn't even know you guys, a lot of people didn't even know we had food. So um, really focused on the takeout and the curbside pickup. Um, they eased up on the liquor law. So we were able to do, um, you know, we make a special apple pie shot. So we were able to bottle that up and seal it and sell that to go. So just really tapped into um, thinking outside the box um, and you know, drinks to go, food to go. Um, and now our, our carryout business has just taken off. So it's actually, um, we figured out ways to work that you never thought was possible. And I think that's true with any industry, right? So many people working from home, like I'll never be able to. And then all of a sudden, all these people look at you. Yeah, you're working from home. Here I am. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, um, you know, we definitely learned a lot through COVID and um, we were able to, you know, people were just I, I mean, when I say our community is incredible, they are. I mean, we had people showing up and just one lady walked in and she handed me $200 and she said, I know you guys aren't um, making tips like you used to. So please split this amongst your staff. Like, can you believe that? Oh I know my I God. Crying every day. I'm like, people aren't, or people would call up and say, um, I want you to, um, for the next week, run a tab for all first responders and we want to buy their lunch. So if anybody who's a first responder comes in and order lunch, just create a tab for us and I'll come in and pay it at the end of the week. And there is no limit on it. Like just stuff like that. Like it was oh to find the, the amazing part of it in a crappy situation. Um, it was definitely through the people. It was, it was insane. Some of the stuff, I mean, it, it was just people eating out three or four times a week that normally couldn't and you normally didn't, I should right. say. And they said, we're working. And so we're going to support you as much as we can. And yeah. they just ate out all the time. It was, it was, we would not have survived if we were, you know, anywhere else. I truly believe that because the people around us were, were awesome and we're still growing because of it. Like I said, with the takeout food. So it's pretty cool. And hey, what a, what an, I guess, optimistic sort of juxtaposition to have two between seeing, you know, we see constantly in the news, everything is on fire and everyone's divided and yeah. the world is ending. And, but like, that you have stories of these communities where we know that everything's on fire and everything's on fire for everyone. So let's all yes. figure out how yes. to make the fire a little less burny. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And we do, even did, um, we did soup for senior citizens because if remember in the, I think people are a little bit more lax about it now, but in the very beginning, people weren't even leaving their homes. So we did, um, I bought cases and cases of soup and we did free soup for seniors and they were able to sign up and I had people come in and they sanitized like crazy. We even wow. sanitized the bags, everything. And we delivered soup to their houses because they were alone and they didn't want to, you know, let people in and we would leave it on their front porch and ring their doorbell and then they would come out and get it too. So, oh. um, like I said, we, you know, we gave back we were able to give back to while in a sticky situation ourselves, but right. And now next time, Vicki, well, hopefully there isn't a next time, but next time 
you and I go to the senior homes and we bring those apple pie shots. Uh, yes. I love I, it. Yeah. So I'm, then we're like, here's your soup or here's your shot. You want a party? <laughs> all right. I'm going to plug my computer in while we're talking. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Of course. It's going to go dead. But okay. That's always the way of things, isn't it? Um, so take me through what you guys have coming up for 2022. New year, new start. So uh, we, the biggest thing we have coming up is we're going to be five years old, which I can't believe it's been five years. It's so exciting. You're in toddler age now. I know, I know. We're we're a big girl. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So we have our five-year birthday party on January 22nd, and we have uh, April's Rain Band, and they're a super high-energy, fun dance band. So there'll be a lot of drinking and dancing and celebrating and uh, just a lot of positive energy in the bar. So I'm super excited about that. Oh my God. We got to go to the five-year party. Can we wear birthday hats? You can wear your birthday suit. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if the world is prepared for that level of disappointment to be quite honest, Ah. but (laughs) who is to say, give me some of those apple pie shots. We don't know what happened. (laughs) That's right. That's right. It's good stuff. We we love a good five year old birthday party. You know? <laughs> what says shots like five year old birthday? That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Is there anything else you want to get out into the ether, Vicky? Um, no, but I know that you guys were running a promotion with you guys, right? I think if you have oh, yeah. somebody call in or something, we're giving away some gift certificates. So that's oh yeah. Cool. We got all those Thursday gift cards going. It's going to be good. If you want to experience Game On Bar, you, you right there. Yes, you. If you want to experience Game On, you got to listen to Rock 95.5. That's kind of like the whole thing. That's right. And that's the other exciting thing going on. I mean, here I am on the radio, right? I'm just a little small bar in Piatone and here we are 95.5. So it'll be interesting to see how many of my customers are out there listening. So many. And now that they know that you're going to give them apple pie shots and wig man for them, it's done. <laughs> game on, game over. 